Let's see your reaction to the Christmas tree. Okay, ready? That is a very far down jump, but you guys, we have windows in. So we did black exterior, white interior windows. One, because of lead time. Um, to way more cost effective. This is going to be 100% black though. And I love it so much. This glass is see-through. We decided to go ahead and do clear glass um, because, and this is how they have it, hold on. This is how they have it so the wind doesn't get it. Uh, we decided to do clear glass and then we're gonna add like a mirrored something because we didn't want to buy the mirrored and then not love it. So it's easier to buy the glass and then do the mirrored later. Study. Let's see. We added a closet in here. So technically now the bedroom, I mean the house plan is four bedroom because it has a closet. But um, this is going to be our study. We have a little nook here. And then Chunky Man. The beautiful living room. So we are gonna do the wall black. That's not the fireplace. Um, also we got white doors, interior. I don't know if these are black exterior. I'm gonna be completely honest. I think they're supposed to be black once they get painted, but these I love because they have the, um, the shades here. So you can barely see it, but there's like shades right here and it'll pull the whole thing down. Over here we have the dining area. One of the windows has like a little broken piece. They're gonna fix that. You can see the ceiling. We're not gonna show anything beyond like the game room. Um, game room's right there, but, cause that's the kids' rooms. And then he, I thought he drew out the cabinets. I don't, yeah, she said he like drew out the cabinets. I thought he drew out the cabinets, but what we're standing in right now, is the kitchen and then so this is going to be like we'll have a full um cabinet here double wall oven uh the cooktop range more cabinets cabinets fridge and then this actually is going to look like a pantry door but or no yeah it's going to look like a pantry door like it's going to match all the cabinets but it actually is the pantry so this is our pantry and then we'll have, um, this is one of the things that sold us on the plant. It had this little nook over here for a second fridge. And everyone I know that has a second fridge loves it, like, but they usually have it in their garage. So we'll have cabinets here and then on this side, open shelving. Over here, we have the laundry room. We're gonna only do base cabinets. They called for upper cabinets as well, but oh my gosh. When I tell you, one, it, that this is already a lot of cabinets in this house, um, but two, it just, I felt like I just don't need that much. And there are so many base cabinets in here already, like I just don't need those. So we're gonna put um, base cabinets and then this wall is gonna have just a like a hanging rack. We're doing a bench here, not lockers. I feel like lockers are something, again, I'm not sure if I want them. I would be fine with adding them later, but I don't really think I want them now. So here we're gonna do just a bench now and then like, coat hooks and that will be a half bath and then back through there's the game room i'll show you guys the primary bedroom so this is our primary bedroom here the ceiling is so amazing um look at the view of course that dirt pile will be gone but like oh my gosh and this is potentially the time we're gonna be moving in next year i don't know i mean the house is moving so quickly um that's a beautiful view. So primary, and then this is the entry to our bathroom. So we decided this will actually be Sam's vanity, and then he's gonna have shelving here. I'll get to this in a second. Where your potty is, here. My vanity, my open shelves, closet. So, so. Pretty good walk-in size. We're actually gonna measure today for the closet. So this 
is actually going to have a door from there all the way to there. And this whole thing is gonna be the tub shower situation. The reason being is because the plan, so it had like, the shower was basically really slim and back there still just like this, same exact size. We did not change the size, but they had the tub in the center of the room and it looked so awkward. So essentially you would be walking in and you would have to like walk around the tub and it was just weird. So we literally flipped it to the side and had to add six inches worth of space to get this. So um, we'll have our tub over here and then our shower heads on this side and then we're gonna have a glass door. So. <sighs> it's a lot. I hope that made sense. I hope it wasn't too crazy. I'm trying to just like do it because we are kind of chasing light. We do have to measure a bunch of stuff today. Um, but like I said, I think I shared it in the regular video and a lot of people said like floor plans are public records. That's fine if you want to use your creepy time to find my floor plan, but we will not be sharing our children's side of the house. Just one for their privacy. Like Ezra may decide one day he doesn't want to be on camera. And so I'm like, okay. And I don't want to plaster his, you know, his room all over the internet and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get to measuring, but we wanted to give you guys a little update. What do you think of it, babe? For this side of the house to get- I know. So this is the garage. You guys, hold on. Let me see if I can, just perspective wise, you can't. How far would you say that jump is? Uh, one, two, three, four, seven, eight feet. feet. Yeah. So we're parking over here and we're putting extra bracing on this wall so that we can have a home gym. So. Just about home gym right here if you wanted to. That is true. We uh, are gonna use this for like a recycle center and all that stuff. But okay, we gotta get to measuring because we're gonna lose daylight. I might call my dad and see if he can I, come out here because he hold Ezra. Really looking You really could. And like the on everything like in this area. Is it connected? Yeah. You want me to turn it on? Ready? Hold on. Look, you ready for it? You want to see the Christmas tree? Hey, hey, Let's see your reaction hey, to the Christmas tree. Okay, ready? Hey, hey. <laughs> that was so cute. Whoa. Whoa. Sweet little baby. You're so handsome. Probably. Do you like the tree? Do you like the tree? Look. Isn't that cool? Isn't that so cool? Oh, oh. let's go like that one. Oh my goodness, donkey man. He doesn't know whether to be more obsessed with himself or <laughs> More obsessed with himself or the tree? He What's cuter? Cute. You know, he's, he's so cute. Grubby little boy. He's so precious. Six months is where it's at, I'm telling you. Well, yeah. Eight, six months. Seven. He's not seven yet. Ah. <laughs> Him not seven months yet. In a few days. Ah. In a few days. Okay. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, today we are tasked with, so this is our island right here. And Sam's gonna go grab the lights that I picked for the dining room and the, hold on, it's the, um, the dining room and the entryway lights. And we're actually gonna see if we want them here. So here's the thing, Island is huge. I'm looking at it, huge. We could either do two big lights or three smaller lights. I'm trying to decide if I want two like, look at me, I'm stunning lights. Or if I want three more simple ones that are a little, you know, more subtle. But a lot of this house isn't subtle. Like we have a lot of black walls, high ceilings, Hold on. Do you realize this is probably more counter space than I have right now in my entire kitchen? If you were to like measure out every square inch of what this is probably all I have right now. Hey love, are you doing this light or no? Yeah. I can go grab with you. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I, that's why I'm almost all finished and that's fine. What do we do with this like little bit of a space for the shower? Yeah, I wrote it. I look like a hot mess. 
I look crazy in my outfit. And it's a million degrees. But, a couple things. Shower doors have to be closed in. So last time I brought you guys here, I told you that we were doing, let me show you now, while they're going to the kids' bathroom. Oh, and we are not doing tile showers in the kids' bathroom. I don't know if I said that. I am not cleaning tile. So the showers are in and that's what they're looking at. We're actually doing one full shower and then one tub shower because when kids are little, I've talked to a ton of parents, when kids are little and they're still taking baths together, they all take baths and every single one of my brothers-in-law have a shower insert, not a tub shower and they like it. And I also know a lot of people and me personally who are like, if my kids really wanna take a bath, they come take it in mine. And that's how I was. Like when I wanted to take a bath when I was in high school, I would go take one of my mom's baths. So it's not something I feel like I'll regret. Excuse me, I'll regret having one shower and then one tub shower. So this is a wall and then that's a wall. We're closing these in like a lot. So I think it's actually to the nail and then like that piece of wood right there. So a lot's getting closed in, but again, we didn't make the length any different. We just made the width of it different. We pushed it out six inches. So the tub will be over here and then the shower on this side, but the shower doors for that length, they were thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars because you have to get custom. And if you do it a standard length, you can just get a shower door from anyone who sells shower doors. So um, it's, much more economical to not have, I think it was like nine, it was 106, 106 inches of glass versus like 76. Right at the size of the box? Oh, it's, Pretty much. yeah. It's corner to corner. Got a little bit of styrofoam in the whole thing, but. Yeah, it's like a little I think that'd be good. That's why I was sitting over here looking at it and I laid my gloves down to see the island yeah. corners. It's only about dimensionally about that much smaller and it'll be about that much shorter. So, okay. so the hard part is going to actually twist it. Once you open it, the frame it, yeah. screws together and makes it all that. In the box, it's just a square. So, this is all that crap that we say. Okay. This is where that can help because if he needs, he's going to have to build something there for these to be spots in the middle. Yeah. That essentially has the same thing like this. Okay, so here's my thought process. I think we use these here. And I think I get another one right there. I think it comes down right here. Right here. And then I think I get a big, like, simple, maybe not a simple one, just something different for right here. Yeah. We're going to add outlet spacing if you need to have that beforehand. Oh, that's what the block is. Okay. Yeah, because we need to have outlet, like, where we want extra we outlets. Okay. All right, friends, the day you were seeing this is the day it goes live. That's why I have my voted sticker. So um, I'm closing out the vlog here. Hodgepodge, a complete hodgepodge. Um, every time I swear, I'm gonna get back to vlogging. And like, it's not because I don't have footage. It's because I don't have time to edit. Life is chaos. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and close this out here. We are officially decorated for Christmas. I shared that on my Instagram. Got the cool lights behind us. It has been just so fun watching Ezra's like excitement over the lights. So uh, lots of house updates, lots of things happening, but for the time being, um, there will be no physical changes to the house. So I want to say probably until like January, we probably won't see many changes because we are doing the plumbing and the electrical. So although there's extra wires and stuff, nothing looks any different. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be it as far as house updates for a while. I got to go get my baby. Today's been the longest work day. Time change is kicking my butt. Thankfully, it's not kicking Ezra's. He's been doing so good. Um, so closing out the vlog. I'm exhausted. <laughs> We'll see you guys next time.